In recent months, conversations in Asian tech circles have increasingly focused on the idea that Xiaomi is preparing for the most ambitious and risky step in the company's history, a step that insiders have already begun calling a leap beyond the smartphone era. According to several sources, including analysts from Nikkei Asia and South China Morning Post, as well as insiders linked to supply chains in Shenzhen and Taiwan, Xiaomi is secretly developing a fundamentally new device that does not fit into the category of smartphones, smartwatches, or AR glasses. In leaks, the project appears under working names such as Xiaomi Hypervision, Xiaomi My Vision X, or simply X device, which matches the company's tradition of testing several names before the final release. People familiar with Xiaomi's internal presentations say the company plans to introduce this device in 2026, positioning it not as another gadget, but as the central node of a next-generation personal digital ecosystem capable of replacing several devices at once. Unlike Apple, which moves cautiously and selectively, Xiaomi is betting on aggressive technological expansion, aiming to be the first to bring to the mass market what competitors still show only as concepts. According to leaks, Xiaomi Hypervision is a wearable device with a distributed architecture in which the computing unit, sensors, and interface are split across several elements, including a compact module worn on the body and a spatial projection system that creates a virtual screen in the air or on surrounding surfaces. Control is performed through gestures, eye tracking, voice, and AI deeply integrated into the proprietary HyperOS ecosystem, which plays a key role in this project. Analysts believe Xiaomi is deliberately building Hypervision as a logical extension of HyperOS, transforming the operating system from a smartphone shell into a universal platform for human interaction with the digital world. According to insiders from Xiaomi Labs, the company is betting on its own AI models optimized to run on-device without constant cloud connectivity, reducing latency and improving autonomy while maintaining a price advantage. Experts from CounterPoint Research argue that price may become Xiaomi's main weapon in this race, since if Apple launches its device in the premium segment, Xiaomi could offer a similar concept at half the cost, making it mainstream. Supply chain sources claim Xiaomi has already ordered large batches of micro OLED and waveguide components from Chinese and Korean manufacturers, including BOE and Tianma and is actively investing in startups working on optical projection and spatial interfaces, which supports the view that Hypervision is not an experiment but a long-term strategic product. It is important to note that unlike Apple, Xiaomi is not afraid to release products at an early stage of technological maturity, preferring to refine them together with the market. And this is why the company may dare to unveil Hypervision earlier than competitors, even if the first versions are imperfect. According to Chinese media, within Xiaomi, the project is seen as a chance to step out of the shadow of Apple and Samsung and secure the role of a company that sets trends rather than chases leaders. Analysts point out that Xiaomi has repeatedly demonstrated the ability to scale complex technologies, whether in electric vehicles, smart home systems, or wearable electronics, and Hypervision may become the culmination of this strategy. The uniqueness of the device, insiders say, lies in the fact that it does not require a constant screen, the smartphone becomes only a supporting node, and the main interaction takes place through projection and contextual AI that analyzes the user's environment, habits, and tasks in real time. This means that Hypervision may become the first truly mass post-smartphone device aimed not at enthusiasts, but at a wide audience. And according to IDC analysts, if Xiaomi manages to implement this scenario, the market may face a serious redistribution of power in which the Chinese manufacturer for the first time directly challenges Apple not in the smartphone category, but in shaping the future of user interfaces. At the same time, it is important that Xiaomi is actively leveraging the current geopolitical situation by betting on China's technological autonomy, its own chips, AI models, and ecosystem which reduces dependence on American technologies and sanction risks, making Hypervision not only a commercial product, but also a strategic element of Chinese technological independence. 
According to insiders, the company is discussing a scenario in which by the end of the decade, the smartphone will no longer be Xiaomi's main source of revenue, giving way to wearable devices and services built around AI and spatial interfaces. And if these plans are realized, 2026 may go down in history as the moment when Xiaomi became the first to step into the post-smartphone era, turning experimental technologies into a mass product and imposing on the market a new logic of human interaction with digital reality where the screen no longer limits but disappears, giving way to space, intelligence, and speed. It is especially telling that in recent months, Xiaomi has noticeably changed the rhetoric of its public speeches and presentations, increasingly moving away from the usual emphasis on best value for money toward conversations about the future of human technology interaction something previously more typical of Apple than Chinese manufacturers. According to sources in Chinese venture funds, Xiaomi is already testing early prototypes of the device in closed groups, including employees of ecosystem companies and HyperOS developers. And the first impressions, despite the immaturity of the technologies, are described as a feeling of stepping into a future the market is not yet ready for, and experts believe that if Xiaomi succeeds in bringing hypervision to a stable consumer level, the company may not only create a new product, but change the very dynamics of the global market, where for the first time in many years, a Chinese brand will set the direction of development, while Western corporations are forced to react and catch up. And in this context, 2026 is increasingly being called a turning point the moment after which the smartphone will finally cease to be the sole center of digital life, and Xiaomi will gain a chance to secure its place in history, not as a manufacturer of affordable gadgets, but as the company that first turned the post-smartphone concept into a mass reality, permanently changing the balance of power in the global technology industry. Additional attention from analysts is also drawn to the fact that as part of preparing Hypervision, Xiaomi has begun to revise its strategy for working with developers, gradually shifting key HyperOS tools into a format oriented not towards screens, but towards spatial and contextual interfaces, which is confirmed by leaks of internal SDKs and experimental APIs. According to sources close to the development process, the company is already testing new monetization principles in which the user pays not for applications in the usual sense, but for functions, scenarios, and intelligent services operating on top of the real world. And this may become a long-term source of revenue, comparable in scale to the current smartphone market. Experts emphasize that such an approach is capable of sharply transforming the Android ecosystem and increasing pressure both on Google and on manufacturers of classic smartphones, since Xiaomi is effectively proposing an alternative model of digital interaction in which the screen ceases to be a mandatory intermediary between humans and technology.